Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 15 QPR1 Beta 1 before the release of Android 15 itself, which is the weirdest update cycle I have ever seen. But anyways, let's jump right into it to show you what's new. I have this update installed on the Pixel 8 Pro because this build is not available for the Pixel 9 models yet. But if you want to enjoy Android 15 on the Pixel 9, you can enroll in the beta program. But in this case, you will get beta 4.2 instead of QPR1 beta 1. But beside this, let's take a look at the build number. It's AP41.240726.009. And now let's take a look at the new features. The first change you will notice here is the new expand animation for the quick setting styles with a new haptic feedback. So for example, when I tap on hold here, you will see that the tile will expand first and then it will jump into the page and you will get a really nice haptic feedback similar to the one you get when you uh, drag your finger over the volume slider. It's pretty much the same, but slightly longer and it feels really nice in hand. The second new change is the new predictive back gesture animation for the keyboard. And instead of pushing the keyboard to the side like what it does in apps, this one pushes the keyboard slightly down to let you know that it's going to dismiss it. And this is how it looks. Another change related to the keyboard is the dismiss and language buttons are now closer to the center. And for reference, let me show you how it looks on the previous version of Android 15. You will see here, slightly different alignment between the two. The third change is the new loading animation you get right after restarting the device. So let me show you how it looks. Once you unlock the phone after a fresh restart, here is what you get. A material U-shape loading for a few seconds and then takes you to the home screen. And there are some visual tweaks related to the home screen. Here is the previous version of Android 15 and you'll notice here that we have a bigger gap between the first row of apps and the dock. And also the at a glance widget has a smaller font and the clock is pushed slightly upwards. I'm using the exact same widget here. But when you take a look at my display settings, you'll notice that my 8 Pro display size is not set to the default. I'm making it bigger to match the 7 Pro. But when you make it smaller, you will see even a bigger gap between the two. So these are all the features you should expect after installing this version, but there are a couple of hidden features spotted by Mesha Rahman that we might see in the future. The first one is the revamped desktop mode, but it doesn't work yet. However, there are some references in the code. The second one is the ability to modify the external display settings. So let's take a look at the article to show you the screenshots. It shows here once you connect your phone to an external display and then go to settings connected devices, you should see a new menu called external display, which takes you to a separate page where you can turn off the external display while keeping your phone connected. And then you have the display resolution and rotation. Under display resolution, you have three default options and some advanced options as well. And when it comes to the rotation, it shows here three different options, 180 degrees, 270 or 90. Now let's talk about the performance and I have a fresh install on the Pixel 8 Pro. Everything flies on the screen and apps open instantly without any problems. The device didn't get warm while filming this video, even though I have the brightness set to 60%. So it feels really smooth without any problems. I also did a quick Geekbench score this is Geekbench 6 and I'm getting 4067 for the multi-core and 1500 for the single core. And when it comes to the bugs, this build is rock solid. I didn't encounter any issues or showstoppers while using it. Everything works exactly as expected. And I would say it's better than the stable version of Android 14. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features in Android 15 QPR1 Beta 1. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted any hidden features. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.